Hello guys, Dragon Studios back with yet another big review. Today is an older figure of mine that I've had for, for quite a while, but I haven't done a review, review on it, and I did a video for a friend, and he seen it, and it's like, oh, would you mind doing a review on that for me, because he hasn't got one, and he would like to pick up one. It is the Storm Collectibles. Street Fighter Ken from Street Fighter 2 The Final Challenges variant Ken. There's another version which is from Street Fighter 5. I prefer this version. However, I've seen a lot of people when they get this stick up moan about it and a little bit because it's got stuck like these white scuffs, scuffs on it. Um, but they're supposed to be just that way because if you ever prove you haven't played the game because it's from this picture on the side of the box here which is from the final contenders and it's supposed to be him in a fight when he's beaten up in that and one of the heads that came with the figure shows you that i think i've got all the accessories still as i said this is an old figure for me i've had it for quite a while but let's get into the review anyway this is the street fighter 2 ken from that anyway let's look at the accessories first he comes with a cool hi how you doing the whatever it is how you can sort of um Blast effect, which is really cool because the fist actually does fit in inside there and you can do it does come with a stand he came with a stand i can't find it but he did come with a stand he also does come with this cool high open sort of high open high open and it's this purpley sort of seafood material sort of as you can see really see-through i would love it to have been blue though because high hyogens are generally in blue but I don't mind the purpley one, it stands out from reuse, which is really good. Let's look at the heads. He comes with this. This is the head I was on about, the more sort of bloody ketchup y look. It's orange, I don't know why it should be red, but this is the look where the costume's from, the bloody sort of in the fight beat beat up head. But yeah, look at the detail on that. This is what Storm is. They're pretty pricey figures, but you get your money's worth for them. This is a real cool, I love the design on this head, the, the teeth, like, uh, like like he's in a fight. You get the yelling, hi, Ocon, head, sort of thing. Like, yeah, bring it. And then you get the head that I love to put on him, the smirky sort of, eh, you know, about to fight. The same one that's also on the box there, which is really good. They're the heads you get. You get two open palm, like, martial arts sort of hands, things which is really cool. You get two sort of Kamehameha Hyokan sort of hands as well. And you get another two sort of martial arts -y Street Fighter posing hands. And the detail on all of these is absolutely, absolutely outstanding. Because as I said, you do pay for what you get here. It is a pretty expensive for Storm Collectibles, but the detail is mwah. On them. Let me show you the figure. This is the head, the head you get. You just get the normal head, um, which is on Ken, which is absolutely amazing. You get this key, which is soft rubber, so it doesn't get in the way, and it is removable as well. You can remove it. You take this thing here like that, move his arm down. It it goes all the way down. These are pretty chunky figures. There is only one problem, which I hope we don't happen in this. Every time we do like a big kick and lift the leg up, the whole body comes off. And um, that is why with this review, I'm not going to do the big kick with this guy. Because if I do, the body will pop off and it's easy to put back on. And that is the only trouble with this figure at the time. They might have fixed that problem now with the new ones. But I remember these old ones had really trouble. Let me look at the, his head can go down. His head can go up and again that's soft plastic so it won't get in the way that he can go left and then go sideways this can come off as well so his arm will go all the way up he got a bicep swivel here it don't have a butterfly joint sadly because it is an old figure it's just a ball joint so it is an old figure but you can bend his arm just like that for the high old gun sort of thing the high old gun sort of thing um i'm a ken player i love ken he's always been my favorite um, it comes down here, you've got the sort of crunch here. You can't really do much with the jacket on, but it does have a 
so waist coats here and he has one there but that's very very loose i've tightened mine up over the years but when you first get it that is very loose the legs come all the way out you can do like a jump this is after hold this on he's got a big sort of leg you go up in get farther but again the torso does pop off if it does you can bend the, the knee all the way back again it can do like the power ranges type jump like i oh, yeah type jump which is good his legs can go all the way back as well which is good and he's got that nice red thing so it, it matches the key which is really good his legs he's got ankles with it there and he's got leg there and he's got toe thing as well which is really really good and yeah definitely if you like it can obviously pick this one up and do um I know that Jodo's got one coming out, um, we've got the Chan Lee coming out soon, and then the next one will be Ken, so if they've got one coming out, I'll be getting that. But if you want a Ken for your collection, you don't have one, and you like the classic red suit Ken, definitely in my opinion, try and find the Street Fighter Storm Collectibles 2 Ken version. It is, for me, the Ottoman Ken version at the moment. I do like this version, he stands out better than a, a Ryu, so yeah. Um... But yeah, in the meantime, keep collecting. Let me know at the, at the bottom, which is your favourite Ken. Is it this version? Is it the newer version? Is it Street Fighter 5 version? Um, yeah, and in the meantime, guys, keep collecting. And if you see any old figures that I have on my videos and all my TikToks and I haven't reviewed them, like my friend did here, just let me know and i'll gladly do a review of them sadly i couldn't say you're in brand new i hope i had all the white um accessories because it's been a while i've had them for a while since you first came out so yeah anyway in the meantime keep collecting stay safe out there and i'll just see you soon hi alcon